Hey everyone, I am Jake. Welcome to 3D Digital Video at the 3D Digital Kite Center facility. Today we'll be scanning with the Enhanced eScan Standard Base. The Standard Base model is used specifically for parts that are about one cubic foot or smaller in order to get high resolution scans. Up to two megapixels per scan so we can get higher accuracy and higher detail. We could have chosen many other pieces to scan, but today we're going to scan this casting and we would like to show you the detail that we can capture. The scanner is a plug and play system. As you can see there are two wires that plug into the back of the scanner. One is USB and the other connects to a power supply. Now this system is so easy to use you just place the scanner pointing at the object and to accomplish all different angles of scan you can use a typical Lazy Susan like the one seen here. So today what we're going to do is go ahead and take a few scans of the different angles of the object. This is the brand new interface from the Generation 4 scanner. You can see we now operate in 64-bit platforms, 32-bit platforms, and all Windows platforms. We did change the user interface to make it really easy to use and have moved all the buttons to the left-hand side. However, some things have remained the same, like the gain, threshold, and brightness. The preview has been modified. We have done it in such a way that the preview is now displayed on the scanning screen. Now the first step before you run any scan is to run a preview of the scan so you can see how the scan will appear. And it seems to me the scan seems to be just fine. If you see that there are some undulations in the scan, you can fix them by adjusting the brightness. You also might want to make sure that the standoff distance between the scanner and the part is measured correctly so you can get the best data. After we have done all this, the scanner is a simple point and shoot system. So once you have a preview you are satisfied with, you can go ahead and scan. Once you click scan, in just a matter of seconds we can get the results of the first scan. Just like the previous versions, we will go ahead and give the basic first scan name. You can name it however you choose, but here we named it as test. A new feature for this generation is that you have a whole bunch of resolutions to choose from. You can go two times the speed, four times the speed. You can also select a certain area of the scan. There are several different variations of scans that can be provided without having to change anything in the hardware. As you can see, we have the first scan. We will go ahead and rotate the part and take a second scan. You can continue this process until you have covered all areas of your object. Once we have all the scans, there is a history list that has been built up. We have already scanned this part before, so we have 18 scans of the different angles for this part. When you are done scanning, your scans are already compatible with being aligned. We just need to highlight all the scans we want to use then right click and send to Slim Wizard. As you can see, the scans are preloaded, so we will go ahead and click Next. Then we will make sure the dataset reference is selected and we will click Next. Now it will take care of everything else. You can see, with just a simple Lazy Susan, we are able to do automatic alignment. And this is where 3D scanning is made simple and easy. Now if you scanned the part in a random manner, and you would like to manually align the scans, going back to this window here, you will need to choose which scans you would like to manually align by checking the appropriate boxes. Then, when you click Next, these four windows will appear. This lets you help the program bring it close to alignment, so it will be able to do the rest for us. So we will just bring the points together and click Set Transformation. Once the scans are aligned, this view window will come up showing each scan in different colors combined with each other forming the object. At this stage we can go straight into merging. Now everything to the point of merging is complete and this is how the object will appear. You can view it as points and we will zoom in closer to show how dense the point cloud is and how organized the point cloud appears to be.
We will also show you the part in smooth shading. And as you can see, it is very clean and every element of perfection has been picked up. Well, that is it for now. Thank you for watching this video from 3D Digital Video and be on the lookout for more videos soon to come.